Hello, it's Penny with the Spoken Spatter. Today, I'm here to premiere my new series, Testimony, by Penny Gale. Today's testimony is, You Can Go Now. When my mother left my home by ambulance and went to hospice, she was not responsive when I arrived. Many family and friends were gathered around her for her last moments in this 3D world. As everyone filtered out, my Aunt Smurf stayed with me as I stayed by her side. A kind nurse pulled me aside and asked me if anyone had discussed what I could expect moving forward. She told me of the physical signs that may occur just before Mom would pass on. Black soles on the feet, which I had already noticed clicking jaw, gasp of air, blackened pupils, etc. She gave me a pamphlet to read further on this. But before I returned to her room, she told me one more thing. She said sometimes our loved ones will prolong passing over because they are holding on for you, i.e. me, us. My sister was in Australia, Charlene had already left, and Joel Ray was in in Arizona. She said if I was called to, she may let go if I tell her it was okay and that we were all going to be all right and you can go now. Smurf and I were given cots to sleep on in her room. I read the pamphlet and sat at her side. Before turning the lights off for the night, I did just that. I told my mother exactly what the kind nurse had suggested. I looked at the clock. She clicked, gasped, and her eyes went dark. Just as she said, and just as the pamphlet read, within minutes of my telling her it was okay to go, my mom took her last breath. It was the hardest thing I have ever endured in my lifetime. Likewise, it was the most powerful. About six months or so ago, maybe longer, we were living with my sister-in-law when she had to go away for five months. Her dog, Champagne, had cancer and quickly became worse not too long after she left. She wailed in pain and could barely get around. I spoke to her and explained she didn't need to wait, that she wouldn't be home any time soon. I told her it was okay, she could go, and that we would all be all right and Sister J would understand. She passed away that night. I didn't know what to expect by my doing as I had for my mom that day. I was shocked, to say the least. Again, powerful. During meditation recently, I was asked to help someone cross over to the other side. I didn't know who it was and still do not know. I understood this person was scared, and was resisting. I simply walked towards this man in my mind. It was an older gentleman, and I took his hand and told him that he had nothing to fear, and it was time to go. When I uh, awoke, I guess you could say, I had an uncertain feeling, but somehow just knew he had crossed over. I do not know what to make of this latest occurrence, but yeah, powerful. I want to take this opportunity to express my deepest gratitude for the kind nurse and the hospice organization as a whole. I have unfortunately spent quite a bit of time there with other relatives, as well as that final day with mom. I was also blessed to have my mother in my home with hospice care until the very day she gained her angel wings. The kind nurse also stood at my mom's bedside after she passed and sang a beautiful hymn without a word prior. She just broke into song as my tears fell, and I held my mother's hand for the last time in this realm. Special. Beyond special. I will always be grateful for hospice and the kindness this nurse showed me, as well as many, many others. In fact, the entire staff are remarkable. There is not one negative about any of the times I had to be there. It truly is guided by God and all his archangels.
powerful. By Penny Gill. If you haven't yet, uh, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. It's free, and I sure do thank you. We'll see you next time. Bye.